Hey there, in this video, I'm going to review the print on demand service This New. You can upload your artwork onto products like t shirts, hoodies, and even shoes. Now, I've actually ordered a few items and I'll walk through not only how I created them, but I'll also give a review on the quality of the merchandise I received. Let's go. Hey there, everybody. I'm always on the lookout for new print on demand opportunities. And I found this one. It's called thisnew.com. And they have full integration with Shopify, WooCommerce, and Etsy. So they're a relatively new company. And as you can see here, they've got a lot of all over prints. Now I actually ordered three of these uh, products and I got them shipped to my house. And so I'm going to do a quick review here on the quality of them. One of the things here that I like is they can do shoes and socks. They've got a lot of different products than just your standard t-shirt and coffee mug, although they do have those as well. They've got wall art, t-shirts, hoodies, pillowcases, drinkware. So if you've never heard of drop shipping or print on demand or any of these sort of things before, here's how it works in 30 seconds. You set up a store like Shopify, WooCommerce, or in this case, I'm just using Etsy here as an example. So you would create this design and you would upload it onto this new and then it would interface with Etsy. So you'd have this listed on Etsy. So somebody, you know, in Etsy land, your customer would look at this and go, oh, I'd like this and they'll buy it. What will happen then is this new will print the actual t-shirt and they will ship it. So they will ship it right to the customer. The customer receives it and they think they received it from you. So what would happen is you would receive say $30 for the shirt. You would pay this new like $10 or $12 for the shirt and then you would bank the difference. You'd be profiting off of every sale. The idea with print on demand is that you don't have to have inventory. You don't have to have a whole garage full of t-shirts and coffee mugs. You can just upload a whole bunch of designs, have Etsy listings or Shopify listings, WooCommerce listings, and then this new would print as needed when somebody purchases the item. So one of the things I really like about the this new company is that they integrate right now with three pretty big storefronts, Etsy, Shopify, and WooCommerce. So you could basically, if you've got these platforms, if you've got an Etsy store, for example, you can integrate pretty seamlessly with this new. There's also a free membership and no monthly fee. So you can basically sign up. It's pretty much risk free. And there's discounts on sample orders, which is nice. There's 20% off. One of the big things is I find the price points on these seem to be pretty competitive. And I believe, you know, as we drill down on this, you'll see a number of opportunities here. Like for example, you can buy shoes with an all over print on them for $23.99. That's pretty good price. So I did actually order some shoes and I've actually got a little review here later on in the video about them. Uh, just a full disclaimer, the link in the video description below is an affiliate link. So if you do sign up on thisnew.com and if you do make a purchase, I would receive a small commission and you would be helping support this site. Okay, so I'm going to go into this new and I'm going to actually create a couple products that I've since ordered and I'll actually review them. So I'm going to go here under, under products and I'm going to see all the different products that are available and I'm just going to go into all categories and that will show me all the different things that they sell. And it's just nice to just take a really nice, you know, leisurely stroll through here. They sell masks and they sell you know, plush blankets, a lot of all over print shoes, that sort of thing. So the first thing that I'm going to look for is a hoodie. So I'm going to go here onto all over prints and I'm going to look for my hoodie and I'm going to see this one here, customizable unisex all over print plush spun velvet hoodie. And this is an all over print. So that's how much it would cost me $22.99. And I would go in now and I would create my design for this. Now to do that, to go in and create your design, you can just simply click this little design button here and then you can create the product. So now here I'm going to click on the design tab and I can import images or texts and then I can just simply put them in different little pockets on the product. So you can see here, this is the chest piece. This is the back piece. This is one side of the hoodie. 
this is the other side of the hoodie. So I'm going to click on the front piece first, and then I'm going to click on this image button. And I've got a whole bunch of designs here that I'm going to be using. So the first one I'm going to use is this picture of the solar system. And I just download a really high res picture of the solar system. So that's going to take a second to just load in. You can see here it's counting up. Okay, and we can see now that this is a pretty big image here and I can move it around. I can kind of center it here on the front. So that's going to be the front of my hoodie. And you can see there's a little preview button that will show me the mock-up of what it looks like. So if I moved it way off center and then I clicked it, whoops, just takes a second there, then you can see you could move it off to the side as well. Not that I want to do that, but just to, you can now, you know, double check that it's working properly. So here's my design there. I want to make sure that it's completely covered. So I'm going to stretch it just a tiniest little bit there. And there's my design now in the front. And I'm very happy with the way that looks. I'll now click on the back and I'll add in another image. And on the back, I'm going to add in this. So here's the image. And then I'm just going to make it larger and I'm just going to stick it on the back here. There we go. You can see here as well, it gives you the print quality. So if I go too big, like if I were to go like really big, you'll see it says the print quality is bad because I've, it'll eventually become pixelated because, you know, the image itself, even though it's a large image, if it's too stretched, then the image resolution will be bad. So here this says good. So I'm going to put that on there. You can see here now there's a second picture that's got the back of the hoodie. So now I've got the front of the hoodie and the back of the hoodie. I can now go to the side and I can add in an image as well. I can also go to the sleeves. I can add in an image as well. And then I can even do a bottom layer at the very bottom of the hoodie and even the sleeves as well. So lots of different options there. So I did order this hoodie with this print on the front and this print on the back and I had some cool stuff on the sleeves. Let's see how it looks. Here's a look at the hoodie that I got and it's, I ordered the extra large. I like it kind of baggy and I really found the quality to be high. It's like the, the print is buried right into the fabric. It's not like just a iron on the actual fabric itself whatever the printing mechanism they use, I think it's top shelf. So this doesn't look like it's going to get frayed anytime soon. I've worn it a couple times and I really like the quality of it. And I just think the colors really pop on it. I made it outrageous on purpose. Lots of stars and nebulas. All right, I bought another item, which was shoes. So I'm going to go here to shoes and socks. I'm in the all categories. I'll click on shoes and socks and we can see there's a bunch of different shoes and a lot of them here have these all over prints, which is really cool. So I picked this one here, custom shoes, unisex, breathable slip-ons. I bought these for my wife and I actually made a pair of these with my cat's face right on the front of the shoe. So I picked the size and then I went into design. And when I went into design, it's the same interface. It gives me the front of the shoe. When I click on the middle picture, it gives me the top of the shoe. And then on the right hand side, it gives me the little lip here on the back of the shoe. So there's a bunch of different views here that we can check out as well. So I'm going to do the front of the shoe first and I'm going to put my image on there. So underneath product, here's my different sizes. Under design, I'm going to add an image. So as I scroll through here, I'm looking for a picture of my kitty cat that I used. So I'm going to pick this one here of Molly number one. And we can see here now I could put the print right there on the front. And then we can see here now in the little preview section what it would look like. So that's the front of the shoe. So it's very easy. There's the back of the shoe and of course we've put nothing on it yet. So it's very easy to get images put right onto the front 
and they can move it around you can adjust it and then it just takes about a second and it will upload over on here as well so i could do the top of the image as well and i could pick another one let's say i'll pick this one here with the yarn and that will load up and what i wound up doing when i made these shoes is i wound up using a bunch of these little cat pictures and i sprinkled them all around the shoe so they're on the top of the shoe and they're on the back of the shoe So I made this picture a little bit smaller and I put one like over there. So then I just put other pictures all around. So now when we see the preview, there it is hiding on the back of the shoe. So you got to look for the individual places. This is the back piece of the shoe. Where does this piece go? I believe this is on the very back, but let's give it a try. Let's do this one here. So here's the picture of a little angry cat and we can throw it right on the middle of the back and we can see where that shows up. So if you're not sure where something goes, just stick a picture on there and then we can just see where it is. So the pictures will show up here now in the little columns and we can see when I look at this preview, it's right on the back piece. So there's like a back little other piece that goes in the back of the shoe. And you can see it's reversed. One shoe has it looking one way and one shoe has it looking the other way. So you're creating one shoe and then you're getting the designs are opposite each other, which is kind of cool. So let's see what my shoes looked like when it was all said and done. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way the shoes look. The one thing I really like about the shoes is the price point. You know, I don't think you're going to be running marathons in these. These are not $200, you know, marathon professional grade shoes, but the stitching on them looks really good. The soles on them look really good. The one thing that I kind of screwed up is I made the cat picture a little darker than I should have. But overall, though, you can tell it's the cat and I think overall it looks really good. So I really needed a pair of uh, like a bathing suit or shorts, like beach shorts. So I went to all over prints and I saw there's all over prints on masks and t-shirts. And what I wanted to do was pick shorts. So I scroll on down and I found this one here. Men's all over print beach shorts, single chip design. And I picked this one and it's $11.99. And now I'm gonna design it myself. So I'm gonna click the design button here. First I'm gonna pick my size that I want and then I'll pick design. And then it's the same idea here. Now it's an all over print, so I really just need to kind of get it on the front and then it'll go also go on the back. Very easy to do. I just click the design button and then I'll click the image. And I actually created a pastiche of comic books that I had used years ago. They were vintage horror comic books. And I actually was selling that on Etsy for a while, a couple of years ago. And it was like a print or you could do all over designs. And so I thought, well, this will be perfect for me to put it on my shorts. So this is just now loading up. You can see the number here as the, t as the design is loading in. I'd encourage you to use something like a Photoshop or a Photopea or, you know, Microsoft Affinity, some sort of graphics design software where you can get really high, big resolution images. Because if you're doing all over prints, the image sizes need to be pretty big in order for it to look decent. Otherwise, it'll look really pixelated and not very high quality. So here's my picture that I've got. This is my picture of my pastiche of public domain images from my vintage comic book collection here that I've got. And I'm just going to throw that on the front and then we can see the shorts. It now shows that's the shorts and there's a couple different designs. So these are designed to be mock-ups if you're selling in a store as well. I definitely don't look like that, but I definitely did buy those shorts. So let's check out how these shorts look in real life. The shorts were surprisingly silky and I really like the way they came out. This is not an iron on. The actual fabric itself looks like it's somehow embedded with the image. So these are not just like iron on 
uh, designs that's right into the stitching itself. And I really like the way the fabric is soft. This is going to be great on the beach or laying around the house. So overall, I'm very happy with my experience with this new, and I would totally recommend them if you're looking to integrate and shop with either, you know, Etsy, WooCommerce, Shopify, or if you're doing some sort of custom work for a friend or family member, this is a really nice way that you can just order products directly and then just sell it either at cost to your friends or family, or just do gifts for friends and family. Or if you have just a real life brick and mortar store and you wanted to order some unique products and just have them in your store as well. So the three things I really like about this new, number one, the price points. I think the price points on these are really good. Overall, they've got some really nice inexpensive items that compete very well. You know, you're not going to be selling a t-shirt for $55, for example. They've got clothes and shoes that are pretty well priced. Number two advantage with, with this new is they have a lot of unique items. I really like the idea of having all over prints. So to find those, you would just go up to products and then you would look down here. They have new arrivals, but I would go down here to all over prints. And these are products that typically are not selling on places like Redbubble or TeePublic. Getting an all over hoodie, for example, that was a pretty cool thrill. And again, the price point was awesome. And so you can get yourself a really nice gift for someone that's very unique. Number three is I really like the integration with Shopify, Etsy, and WooCommerce. So if you're looking at starting up a home-based business, this really will set you apart from everyone else that's just selling regular print-on-demand goods. Now, there is one downside I'd like to point out, and it's something to be aware of. These prices are great, and the items are awesome, and I really found the quality good as well. But there's one downside, and it's that the items are created and shipped from China. So if you're you know, in a huge hurry for the item, you may be setting yourself up for disappointment. I did order these items and it took a couple weeks for them to get printed and then it did ship from China. Now, I picked the priority shipping so it was here very quickly, but the shipping internationally can vary. So just be aware of that if you're selling these through WooCommerce, Shopify, Etsy, just be aware that you'll have to put up expectations saying, look, if you order a pair of shoes, you may not get them like in a week. You may get them more like in a month so or, or six weeks. And now that's regular expectations if you order something that's sort of custom or something that's print on demand, but it is a little on the long side. So I just wanted to mention that. However, I think the, wor the weight was worth it. I really, really love my hoodie and my shorts. And I know my wife loves the shoes as well. So overall, I really like this new and I would recommend at least signing up for the free account and checking it out in a bit more detail. Link is down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you found this helpful.